Hello nerdlings, this weekend I'm going to show you how to serve the media Raspberry Pi. Or something like that. The Raspberry Pi is a $35 mini computer that the geek underground is raving over. But what can you do with it? Well one thing you can do is turn it into a Linux box. But let's take it a step cooler and make a super tiny, super cool media center. The community behind the Xbox Media Center have taken their fantastic media center software and made it compatible with the Raspberry Pi. They call it Rasp BMC. Doesn't really roll off the tongue. But you can grab a copy of the software here. Then just insert an SD card into your computer and run the program. If you had another Linux system installed on the SD card, you can wipe it by selecting this option. Obviously installing Rasp BMC on your SD card is going to clear everything off of it that might have previously been on there. With that done, put the SD card into the Raspberry Pi and plug in a power, network, video, and mouse source and then follow the on-screen instructions to get everything installed. But be patient because this may take a while. When it's completely installed, you may want to use a powered USB hub to add a USB keyboard and a USB thumb drive with your media on it and then reboot the Raspberry Pi. At this point, you've got yourself a usable media center. You can just go to videos or audio, select your USB drive and start playing your files. But this method is so pedestrian. Let's geek it out a little bit, shall we? If you go to System, Services, and then Remote Control, you can choose to allow other programs to control XBMC. So go ahead and check that, and then you can use a smartphone device to download any popular XBMC remote app. And then after setting that up, you can use it instead of a keyboard or mouse to control your media center. Just make sure your smartphone is connected through Wi-Fi to the same network as your Raspberry Pi. Likewise, you can go to Web Server and tick this option if you want to control it from a web browser. Remember the port number and then go back to the main menu and go to System Info to get your Raspberry Pi's IP address. All you have to do now is open up a web browser on any computer that's on the same network and type in that IP address, colon, and then the port number. If you want to access your Raspberry Pi media from other devices, you can go back to the System Options, Services, go to UPnP Settings, and then check to share the video and music library. Then it should show up in UPnP supported players such as VLC. But what if you want to stream stuff to your media center instead of from it? Well, here's how you can do that too. Again, under settings and services, look at the AirPlay option and enable it. If you want, you can set a password, but it's not required. So now with both Windows and Mac, anything that you have in your iTunes library that's DRM free, you can now send it to your media center by clicking this little icon and selecting your Raspberry Pi device. You'll also find this icon on your iPad or iPhone for music, movies, and photos. Then if you have an Android device, you can use programs like Double Twist to send videos via AirPlay as well. Not too bad for a little $35 computer, right? Now I'm sure there's a lot more XBMC tips and tricks that are out there, but this should be enough to get you started. If you have any cool tips and tricks, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Alright, be sure to check out more videos on my Tinkernut.com website or at YouTube.com slash Gigafied. Alright, that's it for this tutorial, and until next time, hack some fun into your weekend.